Okay, today is on Friday, October 16, 2009, and today we had the pleasure of having Mr. James Young to personally visit our class, something that does not happen often in today's public education. But I have, um, I teach English at Grady High School in Atlanta, and I have um, the pleasure of working with Ms. Mecca Handy, who you will hear from shortly. In trying to teach our students, um, we decided that we needed to do something that was more relevant, something that they could identify with. And I don't know how it happened, call it divine intervention, but I ran into a box of books sitting there. And I opened the box and said, if, these box, if this box is here, and when I come back downstairs Tuesday, I'm taking the box. And I brought the box upstairs. Lo and behold, the box held the novel, I Want It To Be Bad. Miss Handy took one, I took one home. We came back the next day and said, this is it. And we assigned the books to our students. We included vocabulary, literary terms to make it relevant to our English class. And then it became just a social phenomenon. The kids have really, really enjoyed it. And the first day we started reading it, a young lady said, that sounds like me. And holding back the tears, we decided that this was a winner. The things that Mr. Young shared with us in our book, in his book, rather, helped to let the students know that there's always tomorrow. And just because you come from meager beginnings does not mean that the stars are not in your reach. And I think it is a must read for every high school student and for everybody in general. And um, some of our coworkers have read the book and they have passed it on and passed it on. So it's definitely a book to have, it's a book to keep, and a book to share. So we thank Mr. Young for taking the time to come visit us, and we thank him for sharing his story and for being an inspiration.